Hello everyone and welcome back to another a massive chess game from the history of chess from 1919 and in this chess game we have Jose Raul Capablanca with the white pieces one of the most amazing natural talent of chess and his opponent is Adolf Holland who was the chess champion of Holland uh, interesting isn't it in these days people don't use the name Adolf so his name was Adolf you know the reason why people don't use the name of Adolf. Adolf name seems like a cool name, so that's very sad for the name Adolf. <laughs> so, uh, okay, so Adolf Oland uh, has an interesting story. He died because, because of an sudden and unfortunate heart attack when he was playing a chess game. So he died during a chess game because of a heart attack. And Capablanca's death was also similar. He died when he was analyzing a chess game uh, in a chess club. So he felt bad. He went to the hospital and unfortunately Capablanca died. So uh, let's see what happened in this chess game. This chess game happened in Hastings 1919 chess tournament. Capablanca, of course, easily won that tournament with scoring 10 wins and he never lost any game. He only lost, uh, he only drew one time. So we started the chess game, Capablanca played with d4 and Capablanca's opponent at move 3, he played c5 and this move was not a good move. Maybe developing the knight was better, but why c5 was not a very good move in this position, what would you do if you had the white pieces, why this move is actually not a harmless move for black. Because this is giving black an isolated queen's pawn. So Capablanca captured the pawn and actually white is already better. Capablanca is developing the knight. So in this position, queen takes on d5 maybe should have been considered. But this is giving white the tempo. Knight to c3 and white already has developed two of his pieces. Black only developed the queen which is under attack. After defending the queen, white can also develop the bishop. So computer engine says white is already better in this position. So black has to play extremely accurately after this position if he wants any compensations. But okay, we have e takes on d5 and you know why this move was also not very good. This is giving black an isolated queen's pawn. So that's the Achilles heel of black. Bishop to g2, knight to c6, Capablanca castled. And then Capablanca captured the pawn, black captured back with the bishop. It is evident that this is a weakness. Especially against Capablanca, that's pretty dangerous as Capablanca was very accurate. Of course, Capablanca didn't capture the knight for uh, solving the back rank issue for his opponent. That would not be a good move, but now targeting the knight. h6, bishop back, queen up, and then knight takes on e6. Now Capablanca has the bishop here. Okay, black doesn't have isolated queen's pawn, but black has a weakness, another weakness, and that weakness is the e-pawn. Capablanca is immediately targeting the pawn in g5, bishop to d2. By the way, Holland was three times chess champion of Holland. d4, knight to a4, knight to e4, and then bishop goes back. And maybe black's idea is pushing the pawn and trapping the knight. But now, after queen to d5, Capablanca is targeting the knight. Why not b5 is not working? Because of simply queen to d3, and after defending the knight, we have check. And, and then white can defend the knight, so this is very good for white. So this is why in this position, we have bishop to g2, and then queen to e5, unpinning and attacking the knight by Jose Raul Capablanca knight goes back but now this time we have check queen to g6 check and queen goes back but this time of course in this position if you move the king then capturing the a pawn so queen is defending and then capturing the e pawn queen takes on e6 and Capablanca is a pawn up so holding this position together was very difficult for black king over and Capablanca is playing simple chess Simply capturing the knight, bishop takes on c6, and then bank. Rook takes on c6, and Capablanca has two extra pawns, 
This is smooth sailing all day long. Smooth sailing all day long. This is very easy for Jose Raul Capablanca. Knight to f5. Maybe in this position Capablanca can even capture the knight with the rook. Maybe that is the threat. And then after bishop takes rook, queen takes bishop and white is doing very well. Sacrificing the exchange for two minor pieces is usually a very good idea. So knight to f5 and what would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? Guess the next move of Jose Raul Capablanca. Well, actually white has a very strong move in this position. Can you guess the move? What would you do if you had the white pieces? Well, Capablanca pushed the g-pawn. Did you see this move? Actually, this is the best move because this is deflecting the knight. This is attacking the defender of the h-pawn. But we have rook to f6. Of course, moving the knight is not a good idea because then black is losing even more pawns. Queen takes on h6, queen takes queen, rook takes queen, check. And white has three pawns and that's resignable for black. So this is why, of course, three pawns is the equivalent of a piece. So this is why we have rook to f6 and now, can you guess the other very accurate move in this position if you had the white pieces? That is queen to e4, of course. It, this is the move. With this move, Capablanca is creating many threats. Rook takes rook is the threat, which is going to be a discover attack to the rook. And at the same time, the knight is under attack, so there is double threat for black. So this is why we have rook takes on c6 and Capablanca captured back. And this didn't solve anything, isn't it? Still attacking the rook and the knight is under attack. So after defending the rook, bang, Capablanca captured the knight and Capablanca is bought a piece up and also he has two extra pawns. This pawn structure in front of the king is not the best, but white is a piece up. A piece is a piece. And also white has two extra pawns. This is massive, materially massive and black is losing. There is no compensation. They played few more moves and after bishop to a5, black resigned. There is no need to analyze this chess game after this position. White is easily winning. Another smooth chess game by Jose Raul Capablanca. He simply destroyed his opponent. What a beautiful chess game. What a beautiful, simple, instructive chess game by Jose Raul Capablanca. I hope you have seen some of the key moves, some of the very simple moves in this chess game by Capablanca and I hope to see you next time so take care and bye bye stay safe